Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. It is 3.15. Today is Thursday, July 25th. Um, we're gonna go head out, go to the grocery store and get some things to make some lasagna rolls. Um, I have it in my little recipe book. I made my own like little recipe book of like just random recipes that I like because I don't want to buy a whole book just for one recipe, you know? And I'll be right back. My daughter's in the dishwasher. These are the lasagna rolls that I'm going to make today. And then on the back side are the like instructions and ingredients. Although I already know how to make it and stuff. I just need sometimes I forget how much to bake it for so I needed that and then the ingredients so yeah and then once we finish the lasagna lasagna rolls usually last us about two to three days because it's a lot um after that I'm gonna try and make this this looks so freaking good mm. almost a la tienda Okay. All right. So, oops. Let's go. No. It's wrong. It's coming from right here. Wait, wait. Watch out. Paka. Where are you going? The car's over here. Okay. <laughs> That is cutest camera. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, so welcome to another grocery haul. By the way, I always have to put on my glasses for the grocery hauls because since I stand pretty far, I'm blind and I can't see the viewfinder to make sure I'm in focus. So, yeah. Let's get started. So, first thing we got was some milk. Next, some ricotta cheese. Two jars of traditional marinara sauce. Abisa A got a big jar of, what are these? Baby pickles. <laughs> Next, we got two crowns of broccoli. We got some mozzarella cheese. I got dried parsley flakes and dried oregano flakes leaves and then i got two two pounds of ground beef then i got some lasagna pasta i got a bag of green beans and then i got some ruby sensation bite-sized potatoes yummy and last but not least double stuffed oreos yeah and that is it for my grocery haul um obviously i left to the movies with his brother and sister-in-law so your home girl is just gonna chill at home with her baby i'll decide when i'll start cooking because i'm not really hungry but 
I think I'll just start cooking because by the time the food is ready, the movie should be done and he'll be coming home to eat. So let's start cooking. All right, so I have my pan heating up. I have my water as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm sorry, I think this is like way off. Okay, right. so I'm gonna start making the little mixture that goes inside the lasagna rolls and it's getting brighter outside. So I got a 15 ounce of ricotta cheese. I'm gonna turn you guys down. And I apologize if you could hear the TV. Penelope is watching the cat in the hat. Then I'm going to add a cup of mozzarella cheese. And then I like to do either a cup or a half of parmesan because the parmesan is a little too salty for me so about that much is good and then I think I'm missing something and then I'm gonna put one egg put an egg and then I'm going to add some salt and some pepper, a lot of pepper, and then I'm going to put some frozen spinach, but I'm actually going to put this in the microwave to defrost a little bit and then I'm going to chop it up and I usually put about a cup of it in here, you can put as much as you like. It's to your liking. Then you just go ahead and mix it all together. Alright, so I put the spinach in the microwave since it was frozen and I drained the extra water. So now you're just going to go in and mix it. Alright, so everything's done. Now I'm going to take some marinara sauce and fill up the bottom of the sheet. So the whole bottom is covered. All right. So now I grab a separate one and I go ahead and I grab my pasta and I go ahead and line them up in three rows. And with a spoon, I grab a spoonful of the filling and I just place the filling. On the pasta and with my fingers, your hands have to be clean for this with my fingers. I just go ahead and spread it out. And I go grab my meat and grab some meat and I put some in or on top of the pasta. And after that, I go ahead and I roll it up and I place it in my other pan.
and this is what they look like so far. All right, so I'm all done rolling them in. So now I'm going to add, <laughs> I'm going to add some more marinara sauce on top. And with this, whatever this is, I am just going to smear it. And now with some mozzarella, I'm going to sprinkle some on the top. And with whatever leftover meat I have, I'm not sure if you can see over here. I am just going to sprinkle this on top as well. Okay, so now I'm going to place it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. And I'll show you guys when it's all done. Alright, and this is the finished product. Yummy!